Welcome back, folks, to Battle of Kanik Competition Guide here in Kanik Creek Fishing Planet. Uh, you can you catch any fish, and you have 30 minutes to do it, in your rods, you can use any type of rods, but this is what I use, guys, here. For my small fish, I will use flies or mayflies. They do both work on a number 12, and you can pause this if you need to. Uh, go ahead and uh, see what exact every piece is. Now, I use the Big River here instead of the uh, Spod Reel because uh, once in a while you will, even on a number 12 or a number 16, you will catch a Chinook, uh, a small Chinook over here. So just keep that in mind. And this is the pole for the unique Chinook right here. And like I said, you can pause it if you want to see the exact stuff. If you don't have the roach spoon, um, medium spoon 6-0s work just fine, guys. Uh, or any single spoon 4-0 or bullet spinner 4-0. But this is what I use, and I highly recommend if you don't have it, go do the 6-0 medium spoons. And we are going to go ahead and spawn in at Hunter's Cabin. And you're just going to go forward to this island. And I go for the little black fish first. Um, and I will cast right out to here, 8 inches down, or 20 centimeters for our metric friends. And I will cast right over here and just let it go along that shoreline right there. Um, uh, one thing to note too is you can uh, I you a small blackfish is two point is two point oh, but honestly you can see one already coming, but we don't want to catch it. <laughs> anyway, a small blackfish is point two oh, but in this comp I will just catch basically any blackfish and move along. Then for the unique salmon, and I will have the marks for you guys too in the unique Chinook salmon right here and I will just cast out anywhere from here to over here <clears throat> and I will show you the marks at the end so you guys can place them and I will use three speed stop and go kind of middle of the water if they're not biting real fast I'll go to the bottom and try there as well now you're going to be able to have a chance at two uniques in this comp as long as you don't fish to this third island the third island is really easy to get uniques from but if you catch one there, you're not going to be able to catch either of these other two spots. So if you just do the top, and we'll do the walk of shame or fame, as I call it, all the way to the bottom. Uh, we You can come down here, all the way down to the corner and catch them too. One thing to know is if you have a small unique on, you already have one unique from spot one, you come down here for your second one, and you feel like it is not a very good unique you can let it off your line guys and get another one as long as you don't reel it in all the way to catch it you can catch another unique here it will not count against your spawn time or your respawn or your uni spawn so what i do in this comp a lot of times is i'll catch my blackfish hurry up catch my first unique i'll come down here you walk as far as you can into this corner it won't let you walk any farther and I'll cast in between here and over here. And uh, if I get one and I don't feel like it's a high 60s or a high 70s, I'll let it go and try to catch another one. And for your marks, we will come over here. This is the Battle of Kanik mark. It is negative 153.9 and one oh, negative 103. And you can pause these to place these marks on your uh, map yourself. This is the stand mark for the uh, unique Chinook. And then you can catch them anywhere from over here all the way down to about this mark. Oop, let me zoom in. This will probably help a little bit. To about right there so if you want to place two marks there you can and then at the bottom of the map as you can see it is this one all the way to this one hopefully this helps you out we'll see you next time guys have a good one